So, the Thanatos veils are getting thinner and thinner in this month. Now, what do Eleusinian priests, mystics, or necromancers, trained also in theurgy, do in such days? Now, ordinarily in Catholic traditions, we are used to priests laying the dead to the ground and tying their shadows in the graves, if they are skilled. If not, the shadows of the dead wander around in the proximity of the graveyard, all around the place. Earth as a graveyard, indeed. Now, the task of the Eleusinian mistress was also to feed the Arrhenius and to dissolve them to get those shadows of the dead and to quench their thirst and hunger and to liberate them from grief, from war. And shadow worlds, rest assured, are not a happy place to be in. The green of Thanatos is a gloomy place of doom. So, let me share some techniques with you to commemorate the dead. I wouldn't advise that you will follow my footpaths because that is requiring toughness, resilience and many things may happen that may damage your life, your mind, your close ones and so on and so on. So I used to prepare melikraton and consecrate it. It's a mixture of honey, of wine and of milk and properly consecrated by the gods and by the necromancers from the other side, no, not the living ones, the dead, that are Thanatarchs, or ruling the dead. So, I usually go to the cemeteries in the evenings, when it is proper time and place, and first things first, you need to ask or permission to enter. It's kind and just. So you ask the queen and king of the cemetery, usually the first people buried there, as well as the host of angels of the dark winged and the uh, demons or necromancers that are associated with such a place to enter. Afterwards, you are either guided watching the figures of statues of angels moving their heads and pointing towards the direction or watching the dead and the shadowy skeleton fingers pointing towards a place where things need to be done. So after approaching the correct place where you have your little quest you start with the theurgic invocation then and only then you pour the libation towards the grave, towards the ground to honor all the dead of your family, of your traditions and your extended family that is the whole of the graveyard. Once when I was having a task of approaching a grave of a recently diseased senator, a female senator, I uh, managed to filter her shadow through my ophitic spine, through the what, and at her wings so that she may be salvaged or restored in soul. In such a case, usually the shadow disappears or it falls apart, the shell falls apart. So in necromantic traditions or in witchcraft traditions uh, we focus mainly on tying the shadows. We focus on commanding the shadows. Uh, but usually it is about liberating the dead. And uh, the thing that Judeo-Christianity promised to those people that passed away is a lie. You need people that are living and working, transforming themselves to ever reach higher realities. And you need active working priests on duties, Eleusiniac priests, 
that help the dead one by one, and it is impossible to liberate them all at once as the lies of that devil Jesus proposed in the church doctrine. Rest assured. So once upon a time, I was taken by great misogyny all of a sudden, and I didn't uh, know what is the source of this misogyny and macabresque uh, visions appeared in front of me. So I was laying down to bed and I had a vision of an uh, album, Tubular Bells, I believe, and a green cloth that I found some other day, a green grave cloth which resembled of a skirt of a young girl from 20, 30 or even more years ago. And uh, I searched for the publication uh, date of this album and it was sometime in the 80s. So I started researching what happened in this place in the 80s, then and then, and there and there. And it happened that there was a person that was once a 12 year old boy that was watching the um, prosectories and the uh, well cutting of the bodies and he was watching it with their interest and he grew into a handsome young man the problem was that this twisted him and he was also a serial killer he was uh, seducing and flirting with females and afterwards he was killing them, cutting off the breasts and the genital regions and sewing them to a mannequin, that was his fetish. So he was caught in 1986 and he was hanged uh, in a different city because there was no moratorium on death sentence back there in communist Poland. So I decided to make a little uh, doll because apparently he, his shadow attached to my mind and try to carry on the evil that he has done to replicate it further. By the force of inclination and his nature. So I had to uh, create a little grave for him, open the plutonia in a nearby forest and uh, bury him in honey and a degradable little box. So the operation was successful, he appeared with all the females that he has slayed, uh, murdered and uh, mutilated. And somewhat of a miracle happened because they all of a sudden turned white and they were released. I buried the doll nevertheless and hopefully no one will unbury it because they'll be in trouble. So if you ever wonder what are, for example, uh, wax dolls doing in graveyards, this is most likely to lay the shadows of the dead. These are the places where they rest. Never ever desecrate such places. Never ever desecrate graveyards. Not because culturally it is wrong, but you might get into real trouble. And this trouble will find you pretty soon. So leave it to competent fellows and if you really want to be of help to those shadow souls and those who remain on the graveyards or in haunted places and so on, remember that first you have to have a very tough and resilient mind and study a lot of occult arts to actually be of use and the prime most important thing is that you have to fix your mind on divinities, theurgy first, necromancy second, necromancy or dealing with demons third, and then comes the goetea in which we don't indulge too much, strictly because it is much unwise. So this is the hierarchy. If you want to do anything, find a safe place in theurgy, then necromancy, then necromancy, and then go there. With this word spoken, I may discard on the self-fashioned necromancy and demonologists that never seen a demon 
with their very eyes and never witnessed or seen the dead. They're fakes. And as soon as they drop dead, they realize what kind of fakes they are and what they've done. But that's their fate and that's their problem. So, later such fools need to be fished out of the mess they've pulled themselves into and others. Thank you. So this is my note on the chromancy for today. Thank you to the shadow and to the dead girl there. Bye bye.